homeless in peace. It's a damn shame. I can't even be homeless in peace. I never thought I'd see the day when I couldn't even be homeless in peace. It's a sad day on the earth when you can't even be homeless in peace. Do you hear me? Dude, the demons. The demons. They even at the homeless shelter. Baby. I can't even be homeless in peace. Can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? I never thought I'd see the day when I couldn't even be homeless in peace. Baby. It's been a long time since I had some good sleep. I can't even sleep good at the homeless shelter. What good is it to come to the homeless shelter and you don't want to take your garbage ass homeless ass to sleep? I thought a homeless bitch that want to talk all the time and need a talk show said something. Baby, I can't eat. Ooh, I can't even sleep at the homeless shelter. It's a motherfucking shame. This wide back, big back bitch kept me up all night long at the homeless shelter. When I say all night long, I mean all night and all morning, most of the morning until six o'clock. We had to get up at six o'clock. Bitch, we ain't got that much time to go to sleep. Why don't you take your homeless ass, lay your homeless ass head, ooh, lay down on that motherfucking pillow and go to sleep, bitch. I see why a lot of them are homeless. Not all. I see all homeless people are not created equal. I see why some of them are homeless because they hard-headed, don't want to obey fucking rules, and they garbage motherfuckers, period. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and if they get kicked out of the homeless shelter because, because they don't want to obey the rules, okay, where they going to go? Where they going to go? Where they gonna go? Are they gonna sleep on the on the, on 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 the bus bench? Are they gonna sleep in the park? Are they gonna sleep in the woods? Where are they going? Why, if you ain't got nowhere else to go, why are you gonna fuck up where where somebody giving you some generosity to lay your ass down, huh? And then and then they roguish in the homeless shelter. The, the, the people, the staff telling them garbage ass bitches and it's always the black bitches. It don't, it don't never be nobody else. It's always them big back black bitches. Okay, I experienced this five years ago when I was homeless. Here we go again. And then one of them big back bitches, she was there the last time I was there. The bitch is still there. She was freeload all the motherfucking clothes because they let you get free clothes and free uh shoes free this and free that baby she she's addicted to the free she's addicted to the free and then she would be my roommate right and she laid her big nasty ass up in that bed all night and most of the morning farting and then laughing about it what the hell is so funny about that big bitch? Big nasty satanic bitch. Woo! And then they don't want us to let, open the windows. But we did have the windows open, thank God. See, that's, a, that's, that's, that's real demonic. That's real demonic. And I'm locked up in a room with a satan, two, two satanic bitches. And then I got a white girl in there. I think she's a drug head. Yeah, I know a drug head when I see him. Okay. But yesterday, she was talking about other drug heads. What about yourself? What about yourself? And this morning, I'm talking to two other, other homeless women about the disturbance that I experienced last night. The motherfuckers that I got, got the disturbance from, they inside eavesdropping <laughs> how you how you gonna be homeless and messy at the same time see i experienced that the last time five years ago when i was at the homeless shelter messy motherfuckers at the homeless shelter that's the last place i would expect to find a messy motherfucker is at the homeless shelter baby so they stayed back and oh any other time they have been gone because they ready to be messy somewhere else. 
they ready to be messing somewhere else. They usually be the first, the first to the leave the, the shelter. But today, they staying back. It's two reasons why they staying back. They ain't a, they not in the hurry to leave the shelter today. It's two reasons why they not in a in a hurry to go outside and go on about their business. Cause we had to leave every day after uh seven o'clock. Okay. So today they they staying back because number one, and, and this another thing, baby, it's a shame. I gotta, ooh, I gotta deal with with homeless hoes. I gotta deal with homeless hoes on top of what I'm dealing with. Okay, it's two reasons why they staying back. Okay, number one, they want to go back in them rooms and steal. You you a fucked up individual when you a homeless hoe and you still want to be roguish uh, uh, and steal uh, uh, from other homeless folks. You real fucked up when you a ro when you so roguish. You don't care who you steal from. How you gonna be homeless and you stealing from other homeless motherfuckers? And then this one bitch that kept me up all night long. Oh, she wanna challenge me this morning. Talking big shit at me to the other two women that I was talking to. She instigating my conversation. She don't even know who she fucking with. Okay. Okay. She think... I'm so homeless that I, 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 I'm I just going to let her say and do whatever she want to do to me. She don't even know how my mouth is set up. And it took everything in me. And I know she was provoking me last night. I know she was. I know when I'm being provoked. And it took everything in me not to open my mouth. I wanted to tell her so motherfucking bad, bitch. If you don't want to go to sleep, why don't you take your motherfucking ass outside? Why don't you start a talk show? Why don't you... All this talking she want to do. All this talking she want to do. All this motherfucking talking she want to do. Talking motherfucking homeless bitch. Why don't you start a talk show? Why don't you get you a podcast and get you some money so you can get out the homeless shit? The big back talking motherfucking homeless bitch. I get so sick of her motherfucking ugly ass. Baby, it took everything in me not to say something to her. Okay, and that's what she wanted. That's what she wanted. I know when somebody fucking with me and trying to provoke me, I know. And see, I have grown so much in that area. You, you end up aggravating yourself trying to wait on me.